the wicks and the tories towards from two countries. The both parties are quite liberal and conservative, dependent on the country where they are in, more or less. In the Americans, the Whigs were the later called Republicans, first called Republican Democrats, or Democrat Republicans. Both parties were first one. The Tories were people who believe in the royalty. Their belief in bloodlines of ruling. They can be conservative, very conservative if they live in a monarchy. They're like a control more involved government, more controlling governments you should can say, more nanny like governments. Some people will maybe call it. The Whigs are often capitalists and believe in free market systems and believe that society will be ruled by the businesses. And this is also one of the reasons, if you ask me, why American is so right-wing. Because it have only right-wing political parties compared to many of the Western countries. How have true Democrats and Republicans? The way, then, um, so like Malcolm X say, have said that the, uh, the white Democrats were helping their friends from the south of the time of slavery. They were two-faced liars, that's what Malcolm X said. They say one thing and do the other thing. The, Demo the Republicans were evil and they say they are evil. They say, But being friendly and being a friend, I think, are two different things. Fox acts, acts friendly toward the lamb. Mm -hmm. And usually the fox is the one who ends up with the lamb chop on liberal, mm -hmm. who usually poses as the friend, mm -hmm. who actually differs from the white conservative in, in the same way that the fox differs from the wolf. Uh, their appetite is the same. Their motives are the same. It's only their mannerisms and, and methods that differ. I'm doing that and I am uh, don't ashamed to say this. I'm a racist and I stand for it. Trump is a racist and I stand for it, for example. <laughs> um, but he is also a patriotic liar. How have full, according to many fact checking websites, lied far more than Hillary Clinton, or so Hillary Clinton. So that's state point that Republicans are honest is also a question for interpretation and in some cases there is an exception. I think Trump was one of the most lying Republicans ever. And I know some of my followers don't like that I say that. But I think there is more enough proof that it is a fact. Now, so the question is, why did Lincoln was against slavery? Many people say that he was against slavery because of the blacks and that he finds that it is inhumane. Maybe that's true. Maybe it is not. According to some of my sources, Lincoln did not free the slaves from the North um, because he finds it inhumane. Actually, the party 
of Lincoln did not so much care about uh, it was has a policy that he not would stop slavery in the parts where it's illegal. He wants just not to spread that spread. Uh, but the reason I sta have stand a bit against slavery was because of the white cracker. The um, white cracker where the poor white free workers all suffer from the growing wealth explanation or action increase so from the slave owners so slave really was bad for white poor workers adult can um, have slaves because they are the poor and so as we always know the republicans were the part where the the party of the white man first and later on the republicans start completely to balance the black issue and become the party of the rednecks of today of the republican trumpiotes uh, rednecks uh, that was starting around the time of World War One and the collapse of the Ottoman Empire, which also triggered the start of the Black Muslim Brotherhood. How wants to bring back? the old fame and the power of the Ottoman Kingdom or Sultanate royalty they want to have their Muslim Empire back basically under one ruler but that is for another video for now when darkness and light become one the reality is split away and the truth become visible